said that you feel lonely makes you cold as ice. Hard to get to know me. So, guys, the TV stand arrived yesterday. Yesterday was Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. So, it's arrived yesterday. And gosh, this thing is too huge and too heavy. I didn't expect this. Yo. I wish I knew better, but this is too big. Too big for a TV stand. But <laughs> uh, this is what I, sh I... This is the photo that I gave, but I didn't expect it to be this big. Because I expected it to reach my waist, but it's almost here, guys. Like, yo. Anyways... I already ordered and it's here so what i'm thinking is that one day i just use it in a bedroom in case i move i'll use it in my bedroom because the bed is a bit high because when i sit in the bed i can see the tv well but when i sit on the sitting room i don't think i can see properly and also i think it's because my my house is small and two in case I get a chair, I just order a chair that is almost my bed's height because I also love high chairs. I don't like sitting on a chair and I'm down. So I order a chair that is like this. It's almost the size of the bed, the height, so that when I sit in the chair, I can see the TV well. For now, let me just use <laughs> this as my... I feel wasted but okay okay this is not what i expected because according to the measurements but anyway it's exactly what i odd i had pictured it to be though not the size it's too big but i'm thinking of ways that i can decorate it and guys i think i wanted to work out but i think i can just start arranging it now so that that is like a workout session because this thing it's crazy it's crazy how heavy it is so let me just start organizing it and see what we will do about it because i even my house is so dirty because there are clothes there and here so i was just doing laundry and there are many clothes everywhere that book is down because <laughs> i was trying the tv on top of the Nini, but let's try to picture it. I'm trying to put it there. I don't know where that chair will go, but from now we'll move the washing machine. So let me just do it and stop talking too much. So I'm planning to put it there. So I think it will fit from where the TV, the clothes bin is to where the chair is almost ending. So that chair, this means that chair will not be there. So it has to move to the middle of the house or something and that washing machine or i'll move the washing machine then put that chair there because i still want to put my clothes there whenever i come from work and i'm tired i usually remove my clothes and just dump them on that chair first thing i'm going to do is throw these flowers away because they have started getting infections some are still good but others but i think all of them will be looking like that soon so the first thing i'm going to do is remove these flowers i think i'm going to buy a vest because now i have a cupboard and i can always put there fresh or what are they called fake flowers so guys let's just do that because if that thing is there this house does not look it just looks crazy so let me try to picture out what i want it to look like then i'll talk to you later so I don't know if I record the process, but I'll try my best. As I move it, it's so heavy that I can't concentrate. So let me just do that then. See you guys. I'm planning to get new chairs, new utensils, a bed. That a bed, I'm not even trying to move that bed because I love, I love that bed. That's the best thing that has ever happened in my life. So I'm still trying to grow so utensils and i want to make i also want to make a cupboard for my washing machine so that my pr cleaning products could be up here so the washing machine is here and the cleaning products are up here so first things first because people decorate these kinds of of cupboards 
or TV stands with books. I have this big dictionary which I'm going to put it in one of these spaces because yeah, like a decoration. So that's how it will look. That or should I put it like this? I don't know. I'll figure out and I also can change from time to time. So yeah, even that way it looks good. So that's my first accessory for this cupboard. Let me continue because I have books in this box and I don't think they'll be so aesthetic here. So I'm going to put, I, I still have some space down here. So I'm figuring, still figuring out where to put everything. So let me start by, I have an Xbox, which I think I'll put it in the middle there. So let me just clean it. Also, I have my Gucci box. This is my Gucci box, which can also be a decoration somewhere, but I put it on the lower cases. So let's continue decorating. So guys, this was the end result. I decided to add books to that dictionary and more books and a photo plus my calendar and the hoofer still remains where it was. Down there is where I put the Gucci box and everything else that is crazy. So I'll show you because I'm still arranging. I just finished ironing and that's the result of my ironing. So that's how I arranged. And some things that were in the box are inside the drawers and the Xbox is in this part because I didn't have to put it out because it absorbs so much dust. And down there is where I put my Gucci, my wigs, my extra bag collections like my shooting bag, my Gucci box and that one is my Canon wig bag something so that's the going and we are still arranging you can see clothes have reduced from this part and no more clothes so my clothes bin stays there where it used to stay but because we have no space but at least it's clean so as we continue arranging we will continue talking so guys see you see you see you but i like the cupboard how like the results are a bit positive like i i will learn to love it as time goes so let's continue working hi guys it's been a minute i even don't know how many days it's been it's like 40 or 50 days before I picked up my camera, but I'm back. I'm not sure I'm ready to do all this because yo, 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 yo. I have a very, very fixed timetable because I have to study now. What? Yeah, I have to study now. I have to go to work and work has been has sat on me let me say that i've been i've i have to go to work i have to read i have assignments to submit every sunday it's not a joke yo 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 it's not a joke and these assignments like you do not have physical lectures or online lectures you only have your notes to read and you have to do your assignments every Sunday and every two weeks you have to submit like a cut. Is it a cut? I don't know if you will understand, but it's like a test. Every After every two weeks, you have a test. Every Sunday, you have a assignment to submit and it's been, it's like the course is like the unit or the semester is like three months. So guys... I don't know what to say, but since I got a chance to pick up my camera, I don't know if it's focusing on me because this camera has a bad habit of focusing on other things. I've recorded several videos and when I look at them, they are just blurred. I don't know. You know, if it's a vlog, you can 
edit or you can just post like that because there are many parts but if it's a sit down video like the ones i did now i have no content i have no video to post yet i recorded oh my god this is a big hassle but anyway guys let me show you some goods oops so i've decided to kneel down here so that i can show you all the things that i bought i don't know if you can see me well don't know if it will be so so far but let me remove this so i'm saying i went to the market this evening i do not have time so i decided this friday i'll go to the market and buy some supplies for the week or for the coming week since i don't know when i'll go again i don't know if this camera is okay but i hope it's okay so let me show you i brought some vegetables these are kienyeji vegetables i don't know if you will understand but they are traditional vegetables so i have one two i have to cook and i have another one they were three these are three different vegetables then i have brought a pineapple i bought some gingers for my ginger shot this time i'm not making ginger shots with vitamin c and whatever then i got some i don't know what this is this my project for english clove i don't know but i got some kitungu saumu i don't know some people call it kitungu sumu some of us call it kitungu saumu then i got this last time i ate this they slapped so i decided to get them again these are are they nduma zinaitwaje okay i got nduma if you need to know what they are you can translate nduma so i got some tomatoes i did not buy so much because they usually they, they get spoiled yet the market is far so before i get some other tomatoes it's a process then these are sausages and smokies i got them from a sausage supplier these ones are sausages and smokies i got them from a sausage supplier in our area because i don't know why i didn't get them in the supermarket because in the supermarket the sausages are cheaper the smokies are cheaper they are like 527 while there it's 550 but the sausages are 670 something while there the sausages are 600 which i think it's just the same thing then i got some onions i need to buy to to just get more onions more often then i got some warus i think on this vlog there is another shopping house then i got some warus i'm just removing them from the paper bag because you can see the sausages have they were frozen so there is water everywhere then i got some eggs from the same sausage supplier because they are supplying all products <laughs> then i got this one i don't know if it's enough of what i was sent but then i got some bread i usually get the small bread because um it depends on the mood we are in then there is a diy i have seen of <laughs> of growing your hair i thank god that my hair has been has been healthy the past few i think the past one month it has been healthy and why someone asked me in the office why is your hair so healthy it's because i do not use blow dry keep heat away from your hair not because i i did not use blow dry because i <laughs> i don't know but i'm just afraid of people burning my skin because yo the blood dries at our place they have i think i'm i'm gonna buy my blood dry so i saw a diy on on youtube and i want to try it you don't want to know how much time i've spent looking for this product like this you see these are original cloves like a whole i've been only seeing the ones with that is powder but i got this one i'm so excited about the diy i don't know if it will work but let's try it because what do we get to lose then i got some rosemary i think this is too much and it might get spoiled here i don't know what i use the used to season chicken still i use it to cook anyway then i got this i love this i love this you see the pipes that they usually sell one shilling i would eat that as many as i can 
but I have a problem like I'm very shy I can't I just want to act like a grown-up and not buy those things but deep 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 down i want to buy them i i usually send my sister and I'll, I'll tell her just give me one but i want to eat all of them these ones and there's something called ringos yo those things are too good too good then i got some milk and some soda and of course, of course, whenever I go to the supermarket, I have to try something new. And I got this pick and peel juice. This is a takeaway. Like, you don't have to carry the big box. Now they have introduced these small ones. I want to try it. Last time I tried the Java coffee, it was, yeah. I've never seen, I've never tested the coffee. That coffee that bad, that bad coffee. I don't know what to say. I've never tested bad coffee like that in my life. And this time I went to the supermarket and there were, um, it was curry four at TRM and they were, they had packed these cute bottles that I only see on vlogs. Those ones that look like those ones which people pick at McDonald's, the ones with the, the glass bottles. Here they sell them with coffee. Are they called the one with a thing, something like a mermaid? Okay, that, I don't know how to describe that one. Is it? Yeah, something like a mermaid. I think that's the best description I have. So they were they had packed that and I was like, should I take it and try it? Should I take it and try it? And my no 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 last time you took coffee, iced coffee. I tell you guys I hate I hate iced coffee. Why should coffee be cold? But anyway, many people love it and I respect, I respect and I respect because what I like might be crazy to you and what you like might be crazy to someone else so yeah i think then i got cinnamon it was cinnamon cinnamon sticks yes i think that is it for the diy these three i want to create something like a treatment for my hair it's supposed to have like olive oil or coconut oil because that thing that thing could dry your hair but i don't like using coconut oil so i don't know I think I'll buy some olive oil and put it in the in the liquid or I'll just use like normal hair oil to oil my hair after using this or before. Maybe after or before then I got some flour for I don't know what I want to make with it. Maybe pancakes then of course some chewing gum. Chewing gum keeps me going because I tell you guys if um, that day I don't feel like working out and I take a chewing gum, bro I can work out. I can work out because chewing gum just gives me some sort of energy and this brand bro, this brand. Yo, this is my favorite brand. I don't know if there if there is another one there's another one that i tried but it was super juicy but this one like expensive chewing gums is something you should try because i used to have cheap chewing gums like the ones for one shilling any money i got i would make sure i buy a chewing gum and guys i tell you the teeth i had to remove because of those chewy cheap chewing gums i did not go back there and i usually tell my small sister See, she's called C. See, don't chew these cheap chewing gums. Let me let me be giving you some chewing gum. So she will always wait. And whenever I come home, she's like, Have you brought the chewing gum? Chewing gum, chewing. And when I give her, she's like, She's everywhere with that chewing gum. Like it just makes me happy whenever I chew. So I don't know if I should do this because this thing should get caught in like I don't know how many hours. But also, yeah, I, I, I think I will make it because the, the, is it, the rosemary will get spoiled. But the other ones will not spoil, so no problem. The rosemary was 60 shillings. Oh, that's cheap because I think, yeah. But my mom can bring me this for free, but I'm very far from my mom. Also, what I wanted to say is that I'm not going to use the product on my hair like right now because I just... <laughs> I just did my hair you guys have noticed i should have started with that i just did my hair my favorite salon is salon now in within nairobi is called spot 
is it Port Beauty? Is it in Kahawa? Eh, is is it in Kahawa? It's in it's in TRM area. Let me say that. Or is it Roisambu area? And those guys, the salon, it's never too busy. So I just walk in. I never book like book because I can book and not go. So most of the times I just walk in and the thing is done in like two to three hours. So guys, what I wanted to say is like I will plant since i've already plated my hair and it's finishing one week tomorrow tomorrow is saturday so i'll give it like three weeks when it's spoiled spoiled is when i start using this product so that when you remove your hair there is some changes and when you're going to plate it the next time you start using the product again like i give it a week this time i gave it a week and i was using some products on my hair like i've been taking good care of my hair and i saw some changes like the growth the strength i need to work out i need to work on my falling hair because that's the only stress i have i don't care much about the thickness because you can't change it's like being short i can't change my height so i can't change the thickness of my hair because also i think those people on youtube are like how to make your hair thick how to make your hair if your hair is fussy bro <laughs> even if you do what it can't be thick so let me try i don't know if it's true but i have so much cooking to do because i have to boil all the veggies i have to put them in the i have to pack them and freeze those that i need to freeze and cook those that i need to cook i have to i want to make what to make this mass and put them in the fridge or not in the fridge i just have to make them i have to wash dishes because today i don't think i've done anything in this house except for cleaning which it's already dirty because i've already unpacked here so guys let me do that because my legs are killing me i really shopped recently but i've just been like I went to the market market today. I did not go to the supermarket. I just got like four or five things in the supermarket. The rest, I got them from the market. So let's do the packing. Let me start with boiling this thingy. I don't know if I should boil it today or I don't know why I brought it even now because I don't know. I go to the supermarket rarely, so I just wanted to have it. So let me boil it and freeze it. That's the best I can do. And also, I need a spray bottle, which I don't know where I remove it. But for now, let me... Yeah, I have a good idea. Let me boil, boil the things. I think I store them tomorrow. Then I have a perfect bottle to store it. And I put it in the fridge so that... In two weeks or should i just freeze the rosemary i don't know what's the best idea because three weeks is too many days too many days should i freeze it because i don't want to make it now then it gets spoiled because i had it get spoiled and should i freeze it i don't know i think i should because the other ones they have no problem like they can stay for even a month or two even a year but this one i don't know and i can't see my eyes are i can't see there is no expiry date on these ones but i'm very very sure they'll expire but i know i can get some from work because i saw someone growing them there <laughs> or maybe they buy or I'll just buy another one in case it gets spoiled. I can use it on other things. Let me freeze it for now. Then I'll boil it. Or should I boil some? I don't know. Let me figure out. Then we shall talk. I just kept it in the freezer. Then I have to keep the sausages in the fridge too. Then that's it for now. So I'm watching this movie, this series called The Greenhouse Academy. Yo, that series. At first, I think I started watching it. Then I forget. I for, I it just got boring. Then I have decided to rewatch it again. And guys, yo, 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 yo. 
that movie makes you want to continue watching it and i'm like i hope this is not the last this is not the last season i hope this is not the last season i hope this is not the last season yet the movie has very short episodes which is very 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 encouraging that's the best thing about short movies so that's what i'm watching now then let me keep this in the fridge <sighs> everything is everywhere and i'm already tired i just want to sleep but i can't i have to cook all these veggies yo let me start doing work and stop rumbling 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 so let me start by cleaning these dishes and then let me put this away everything is everywhere look 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 i want to start by making this so that if they boil i am doing something else like washing the dishes so let me start let me not talk too much give it time i know that i'm not easy this cold heart of mine she really took a beating before you changing thing you should try it it's called barbecue sauce it's i usually get it in quick mat this the day you try this you will never look back bro try it i'm very choosy with my food especially sauces i wouldn't use sauces in my food but this this changed my life my test bugs So this is my dinner today. I'm so excited. I need to be eating healthy, but yo, you can't live alone and eat boring food. So I decided to to eat whatever I want. Bye.